Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video we are going to see how we can use this LM75A uh, temperature sensor made by Texas Instrument uh, Philips or NXP to measure uh, temperature using Arduino. You can get the code for this project by clicking at the link in the description below which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. This sensor will be offered either as a chip, a surface mount chip, which is already here. NXP is producing it, National Texas Instrument is also producing it, and Philips is producing it. And uh, regardless of which chip you select, so either it will be offered as PCB module, something like this, or it will be something like this. Uh, this is a red, pink, blue, or maybe you're getting it just a bare chip. It does not matter, all of this will be the same when you are using it with this, with this code. Module is 23.9 millimeter by 23.9 millimeter, it's just square. And without this header, in practical application, you would just solder a wire here at 2.9 millimeter, or with this header, if you want to know, 7.3 millimeter module will come or the other modules whichever you pick will come either soldered or not soldered and then we have all these pins ground VCC and then we have SDA and SCL this will be connected to A4 SCL will be connected to A5 last pin is op, uh, OS op over temperature shutdown so you can communicate through uh, this I square C send command and it will shut down and also it can be used as an interrupt for different uh, purposes, but uh, when shutdown happens, it saves uh, the power significantly. So this is not connected. And here on this side, this uh, on the module, this is the address selector. I will provide you the, uh, the link to download the library, uh, Quinton CG, here is the page. So you can just uh, click and then download and extract the zip and include it in your Arduino library folder and it should work. I will also provide you a link directly to from our website robojax.com in case this page changes or disappears. I will provide you also with this i squared c scanner that scans the address automatically and it shows that the address for this module is uh, 48 hex 0x48 but you can select the address in different ways and change it accordingly the file that is included with the library is this uh, lm75 cpp cpp if i double click by default they put 0x48 so what you do is you will run this code whatever is here whatever you read if it's anything other than 48 then come back to this and type it here so accordingly it will work with you Let me explain the code once you ins uh, install the library this will be part of the library it's inside the setup we initialize the serial monitor and it must match here which is 9600 baud, the same number, otherwise you will not be able to read it. And these are just a text. Inside the loop, we are... Uh, so this is an instance of this object from this class. So this object will be used, and here we are using that one, uh, IM75, LM75A sensor, dot get temperature in degrees so we are getting it in degrees and storing it here as, as float and from this point beyond we will use this value and then we check if we are getting 1000 so that would be invalid and we type error otherwise then we print this text and then we print the temperature so this temperature is the text is this text and after that we have degrees and then 
we put the word degrees and open the parenthesis degrees degrees and we open the parenthesis and after that we uh, get degree to Fahrenheit here they have uh, just used that, that value that we have we are passing it to this function and this function is converting it to Fahrenheit and it will be printed here as Fahrenheit and after that we are printing just this text and then waiting one second and then the loop continues like that let me explain the wiring uh, ground is connected to the ground of, of Arduino VCC is connected to 5 volts red has been connected to 5 volts and the ground is connected to the ground and then we have SDA the data pin is green and then blue is SCL the SDA is connected to A4 and the SCL is connected to A5 if your Arduino has uh, SDA or SCL pen you can connect it here you're using Arduino Uno and then, then SCL is A5 and SDA is A4 and Arduino Mega SDA is 20 and then SCL is 21 and Leonardo and all of those if you're using the surface mount device chip without a PCB module something like this then the connection will be then this will be the way so from the left side there will be a dot and then one two three up to eight and then one is SDA two is SCL this will go to pin A4 and this will go to A5 and this will be not connected four will go to the ground this will go to five volts so these two are and then leave this uh, unconnected let me demonstrate this uh, as you can see at the moment it's reading the room temperature which is 23 degrees celsius or 78 23.18 degrees fahrenheit and uh, if i touch it with my hand it should immediately increase as you can see it shows 24 but uh, i'm going to use the heat gun to heat it up because it can go up to 125 degrees Now as you can see it's 20, 20, it reaches up to 78 degrees and cooling down or 100 and uh, it was 172 degrees Fahrenheit. Thank you for watching this was an introduction on how to use this LM75A temperature sensor. Uh, please subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos. Take care.